Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add checkpoints to a 2D platformer game in Unity so that when the player falls off a platform, they'll respawn back to the most recent checkpoint instead of losing all of their progress and respawning back to the start of the level. So in the previous video, I showed how to add a fall detector so that when the player falls off the map or falls off any of these platforms, the player will respawn back to the start of the level. Uh, what I'm going to do now is add some checkpoints throughout this level. So for example, if the player makes it all the way to this point and falls off the platform, uh, that they can be respawned back somewhere here at a recent checkpoint rather than having to start all the way back at the beginning of the game. So what you'll need to do is create uh, some empty objects that can represent the checkpoints. So I'll start by creating a new empty object. I'll right click and then create empty. And I'm going to call this object checkpoint one. And I'm gonna use the move tool, select that. And I'm going to move this empty object over to here. So this is where the first checkpoint will be. Okay, so I'm gonna position it just there. And then what we'll need to do is detect when the player has collided with this checkpoint. So it's gonna need a collider. So in the inspector panel, I'll click add component and you can just search for collider. Uh, and I'm going to add a box collider 2D component. So I'll select that. I'm going to select is trigger. So I can detect uh, a collision that occurs when the player passes through this collider attached to this empty object. So I'll select is trigger. And then I'm just going to edit the collider, click on edit collider, and then I'm going to resize the collider so that uh, no matter how the player lands on this platform, whether they're jumping uh, or walking, that they're going to definitely pass through this collider. Okay, now to distinguish this from other objects in the scene and to detect when the players uh, pass through the collider uh, attached to this checkpoint, I'm going to uh, assign a tag to it called checkpoint. So in the inspector panel uh, from the tags list, I'm going to click add tag. And we can see I've already got a tag for the fall detector and I went through that in the previous video. So if you haven't added uh, a fall detector, um, go back and watch the previous video, but there's a tag for that. I'm going to create a new tag and this one is going to be called checkpoint. So I can reuse this tag for multiple checkpoints that I can add to the scene. All right, save that tag. So I've just created that tag. Now I need to assign it to this object. So I'll go back and select that object again and apply that tag checkpoint. Uh, now I've got one checkpoint so far, but what I might do is just duplicate that empty object. So right click and duplicate. And I'm gonna rename this second one to checkpoint two. Oops. And I'm going to move that one over here. Okay, so there's two checkpoints in the scene. Um, and what I'm gonna do now is add some code so that we can, when the player passes through these checkpoints, the respawn point position will be updated. And so when the player falls off the map, that will, will be where they respawn to. Okay, so uh, in the scripts folder, I'm going to open up the player controller script. And this is the script that I worked on in the previous video where um, we added this method here called on trigger enter 2D that is used to detect um, collisions with a collider like this, like this box collider, which has is trigger ticked. Okay, so in the previous video, what we did was uh, we created a variable called respawn point, uh, which basically at the beginning of the game uh, so when the start method is called and the, the scene loads, that respawn point is set to the current position of the player. Okay, so whatever the player's position is at the start of the game, that's gonna be the respawn point. And then when the uh, player falls through the um, fall detector, they 
fall off a platform and, and pass through the fall detectors collider, uh, that the player's position will be set to that respawn point. All right, so that's all down here. We have this method here that is used to detect uh, collisions. And if a collision occurs and the tag of the object that the players uh, collided with is fall detector, then the position of the player is set to the respawn point. All we really need to do here is add an else if statement. So we can say else if the tag of the object that we've collided with is checkpoint. All right, so if, if the tag of the object that we've collided with, or the player's collided with is checkpoint instead of fall detector, we're going to update the respawn point to be the current position of the player. So respawn point equals transform.position. So you can save that code, go back to Unity, run the game, and now I'm going to move along this scene. And so now I've just reached the first checkpoint. So what I'm gonna do is fall off the map and I respawn back to that first checkpoint. Now I'm going to move further along to the second checkpoint, which was uh, somewhere around here, fall off the map, and I respawn back to that checkpoint. Okay, so that's uh, basically how to add checkpoints to a 2D platformer game in Unity. That's it for this video, thanks for watching.